Okay, so in this problem here, we're given the birth weights of babies is normally distributed with a mean of 7.6 pounds and a standard deviation of 1.3 or variance of 1.3 squared. We are asked to find the z-score and let's define this as b, b for babies. And so we want to find the z-score of a baby that weighs 5 pounds. Well, my z-score is equal to my value minus the mean over the standard deviation. So in this case, it's going to be 5 minus 7.6 over 1.3. When I go to my calculator and I get 5 minus 7.6 divided And this is equal to negative 2. So what proportion of babies weigh less than 5 pounds? Well, this is A part. So if I make my normal curve, okay, here is my mean of 7.6. Here is 5. I know this is two standard deviations. Here's also two standard deviations above. And so this area in here is 95%. That's this area. So that means together these parts here are 5%. And so based upon symmetry, this area is approximately 2.5% just by using the symmetries and the empirical rule idea. If I do it by calculations, I want to find the probability that Bs are less than 5. Well, if I go to my calculator, and I go to my distributions, normal CDF, my lower bit's going to be, oh, negative infinity, negative some big number, up to 5, where the mean is 7.6, and the standard deviation is 1.3. And we can see that the value is 0 0.028228, which isn't exactly 2.5, but it's a good reasonable estimate just so we can see what these values are, 228. Okay, C part says, what's the proportion of babies between, or more than or equal to seven pounds? So I want probably, the babies are more than or equal to seven pounds. Well, again, if I look at this normal curve, here's my mean of 7.6, here is seven. So I want all this area here. So I can go to my calculator again. I want normal CDF. I'm gonna go from seven up to big number, and those values are fine, and I end up with 0 0.678. Now, whether I have equal to or not equal to, it doesn't really matter because what it says is I, this one, it includes this line of 7, but I know a line, I'm looking for the area, a line has no thickness, so therefore it has no area, and so whether it's less than or equal, bigger than or equal to seven, or just bigger than seven, it's the same calculation. All right, D part now says, what's the proportion of babies? Let's take this and we'll add a page. What's the proportion of babies between 7.2 and 8.74? Well, I'm looking for the probability that is 7.2 less than B, less than 8.4. And so I have my graph, here's my 7.6, 7.2, 8.4. I'm looking for this inside area here. So use my calculator again, I can find it's between 7.2 and 8.4. And our value is going to be 0 0.352. Now, E part says 10 babies are selected. What's the probability that exactly three of them are between 
these two pounds? Well, we've switched the question now. We're no longer doing normal. This is a binomial situation because it's either success or failure. They're either in this region or they're not. The probability for all the babies are the same. And there are exactly 10 trials. And so I'm going to introduce a new random variable and we'll call it um, W for weight belongs to binomial where my N is 10. My probability of success is 0 0.352. Two. And I want to find the probability that w is equal to 3. Well, I could do 10 choose, th 10 choose 3, 0 0.352 to the third, and 1 minus 0 0.352 to the seventh. I can also just go to my calculator, and I'm going to store this probability. I'm going to store this value in A so that I have all the decimals. And if I go to my distributions now, it's binomial PDF. Number of trials is 10. My probability is A. My x value is 3. And so my probability that exactly I'll have 3 over 0 0.2 5, 1. And so this problem started off with a normal and then it switched to a binomial situation. Okay, so now we'll take a look at F and G and H. <coughs> so now determine the baby weight that is 1.5 standard deviations below the mean. Well, what this value here means, that is my Z score, 1.5. I want to find the baby weight, so that's X minus the mean is 7.6 over standard deviation of 3. And from this equation, I can solve for X. And X is going to be, if we do this quick calculation, if I get 1.5 times 1.3 plus the 7.6, that should give me x is 9.55. And that's the baby's weight, that is 1.5 below the mean. However, I did above the mean, I did above the mean. If I want below the mean, then I have to add onto here a negative value, which will mean I go back to my calculation and I insert a negative then the x value really is going to be 5.65. Going to G part, find the probability of the baby's weight being over 8 pounds if you know that the baby is actually Okay, so we want to find the probability of the baby weight being over 8 pounds if we know the baby is actually between 5 and 10 pounds. Well, what this is saying, I want to find the probability that the, baby's, the baby is over 8 given that it's between 5 and 10. Well, in order to do this, we need to find several probabilities. We need to do conditional probability. So this is going to be probably the B8 intersection, 5 less than B less than 10, divided by the probability of being between 5 and 10. So when we do this, this bottom part is going to be normal. And if I go normal CDF. I'm going to go from 5 to 10. It was 7.6 and 1.3. This is going to be 0 0.9448. And I'm going to store that in alpha B. That's B. 
Now, I have to think about this. I want the intersection of 8 and between 5 and 10. Well, if I have my number line, if here's 5, here's 8, and here's 10, here's all the numbers between 5 and 10, here's all the numbers between 8 and 10. And so I'm looking for this probability is the intersection. So it's going to be the probability of between 8 and 10. So again, we go to our calculator. I'm going to go up to here. I'll edit the 5 and change it to an 8. And that's 3.467. Divide that answer by my alpha b. And I get the probability of 0 0.367 is the calculation of my probability. And it is a conditional probability. And finally, the last part is H. A baby was born on this day, and this is true, in Iowa, 13.8 pounds. Is this an unusual occurrence? Well, if it's 13.8 pounds, let's find the z-score. The z-score is going to be 13.8 minus 7.6 over 1.3. And so if I do this, minus 7.6, It is a z-score of 4.8, approximately. And if I think that from negative 3 to 3 standard deviation is 99.7% of the population, and I'm at 4.8 standard deviations away, this is an exceptionally rare, exceptionally rare occurrence because I'm more than three standard. Sometimes people even say two standard deviations between plus or minus two, that's 95%. More than that is also, some people consider that rare, but this being so high is extremely rare.